I've watched the criminal circus created by the Hagainde criminal gang. And they've tried their best to scandalize my name that uh, I am the one who is pursuing the Feluna Siatembos because I'm trying to force them to go to the Court of Appeal. It's actually so preposterous that any person with a little bit of intellect would know that this is a scam created by Hagainde Ichirema himself. And I will give the world the reason why Hagainde Ichirema is behind this scam. He argues in the latest so-called update that uh, according to him, Edith Nawakwi, this woman he refers, is the one that uh, the poor lady, Feluna, who has an extremely sick child, is hiding away from. I want the world to know that never on earth, now in the future and in the past, would Feluna hide away from me. Because between me and Haga Inde Ichirema, Feluna knows me. She knows my heart. She has shared her deep fears with me. And she did say, and it is on oath, that she has never met Hakainde. She never sold the property to Hakainde. And even if the police found 10 women and asked Hakainde on an identification parade to identify who Feluna is, Hakainde would not know who Feluna is. And this has also come out in the so-called video which Nicholas Piri organized in the bush, where Feluna clearly said that she never saw the farm, she doesn't know Hakainde. When I assisted this poor lady to take the matter to the high court, it was in the belief that she would receive justice because she was being harassed by her relatives that she sold the farm without their consultation to Hagainde Ichirema. And for the past 20 years, she's been swearing that she never sold the farm. That is still her statement today, in the past, and in the future. And that's why Hagainde is scared and petrified about having to face the law in the dock. Who stands to benefit by going to the court of appeal? Who stands to lose by going to the court of appeal? And what is the matter before the court of appeal? The matter before the court of appeal was what the judge pronounced herself on. The judge said that the issue before her was taken to her 12 years later after it had happened. That is, 12 years after Hagainde had fraudulently acquired farm number 1924 belonging to a deceased person, the late Samson Siatembo, the father to Feluna. And according to the judge, she had no jurisdiction over the matter. The judge never said that Hagainde has won the matter. And the, therefore the matter was going to go to court of appeal to make just one determination as to whether when a person steals your car, they disappear into the jungles of equatorial forest and reappear after 12 years, whether that theft can just be ignored because they disappeared for 12 years. That was a matter before the Court of Appeal. And to determine that matter, her kind would have been required personally, would have been required to appear before the Court of Appeal in his personal name, Hagainde Sami Hichilema. He would have been in the dock. So, 
who stands to lose? It's himself. He knew that when he goes into the dock, he will be asked, how did you acquire this farm? Did you know that the owner of the farm was demised? Mr. Samson said, Tembo, the late may so rest in peace. The answer to that is yes. And Mr. Hagainde, are you aware of Cup 89, which requires that any administrator of the estate of a deceased person is required to go to the high court to get an order to dispose that asset? What would be Hakainde's answer? He knew that the Siatembos were his neighbors. So he knew that late Samson Siatembo was demised. And he knew, according to his own record, that they filed a supposed order of administration for a feluna whom they themselves know, not the one who says he doesn't know Hagainde Hichilema. He also knew as Hagainde Hichilema, and he knows, and he's aware, it's in his scruples, in his mind, that according to the record which we see and is a public record that lands, late Samson's Hatembo is alleged, is purported to have procured a loan from Lima Bank. He knew that would arise. And the question was, how was it discharged the same day that Hagainde got the property? This is one... Uh, Hagainde Hichilema, who has been swearing over his father's grave that uh, he doesn't know anything about Lima Bank assets. And here is a classic case where farm number 1924, belonging to Samson Siatembo the late, was mortgaged to Lima Bank. So, in his fear of what would happen as a politician, he has involved himself with his Kahoot of Chief Mukuni, this so-called Mwetwazi, they've all scampered in all directions and want to wash their debt like maggot flies on me. I can tell you, Mr. Hagainde, don't be like a maggot fly and try to wash your debt on me because what you're doing is criminal. Don't try to play victim because the victims of your crime, they are forefathers are in the graves where you yourself are grazing your animals, where you are trampling on them. I know that you know that even farm number 801 was a Lima Bank property. So when you start to spin it around and say that, that the plaintiff are running away from Edith Nawakwi, what do I have to benefit or lose? If a, if a witness becomes hostile, what value is that witness to me? The, the plaintiff is only of value to you because as long as you pretend and you are pretending that my sister Feluna is hiding from me, how can she hide from me? I'm very far from where you are. You have even gone as far as organizing criminals to go and assault Feluna's, uh, Milton's wife. You know, ask your friends, those people whom you're working with, your cabal of criminals around you. You know that what you're doing is not acceptable for anyone calling themselves a leader. And you're Mr. Mukuni. You call him chief. Look, if this man wants to be a politician, let him kindly surrender his instruments of chiefdom, chieftaincy to the state so that the people can choose another chief. This chief says that uh, one so-called uh, uh, Tom Silwindi is his subject. Now, Feluna lives in Mapanza. Feluna has an extremely ill child who needs her support. She has even told you, Mr. Ichilema, on your own uh, systems, on your own videos, that now she's saying, it is now I have a child who is sick. I mean, look, she, I'm, not, I'm not a Feluna's enemy. I'm a fellow mother. And I know the, the few moments, the many moments we shared together, 
She always cared so deeply about her child. How can she be running away from me? You, Haga in the Hichilema, your criminality is going to send you to the grave. Your insatiable appetite to acquire properties of the missed person is what has put you in this deep mess. You need to know. Kutimizi muiragaga chiratondwa. You go kuna maumbwe to the graveyard and build your property on somebody's bones. This is, these are the spirits which have always been saying that the spirits of the dead are not lying in peace as long as their children continue crying. And now you are even impacting the life of a child. And this girl is not a child. She is 33 years old, as Feluna has clearly put it. But she needs the personal attention of a mother. We cannot have our own politicians turning themselves into ISIS. We cannot have Boko Harams in the Republic of Zambia. Hagainde, on up. Hagainde, if you ever, ever touch a Bible, if you call yourself a pathfinder, a pathfinder has sympathy, a pathfinder has love, a pathfinder shares. You cannot, you cannot and you will not continue to behave like you are a king in this country. If you think Zambia is going to be King Leopold II's property and you are the kith and kin of King Leopold II, this is not your time. Watondwa musa. Chilatondwa and keep your dead mouth off my name because I'm so sorry to tell you that I'm not as a criminal as you are. Now everybody knows your criminality. It has come out in the open. Just to try and defeat the ends of justice, you, be, you can do this to your fellow human beings. And I want to tell you and I want to warn you, the more you try to spin your criminality, the dirtier you look. So this is a time for you. Let God bless you with something positive. But if you continue to behave the way you are behaving, the next thing you will see that you are six feet under by your own will. Because listen, listen to me very, very carefully. What you're doing to an innocent family doesn't get done in a republic called Zambia, in a place like Zambia where we have spirits. Zambians respect burial sites, and you have no respect for the dead. Look, your father too was a Zambian. If your father didn't even leave you with a spear, why should you want to acquire other people's properties? You say you legally acquired it. Other people, third parties got it. Where did you ever hear and see a property of a demised person being transacted in third party form? You are educated. You went to the University of Zambia. You are not an irritate. This country privileged you with an education. Why don't you use your education positively to support poor people? Why do you want to take advantage of poor people, Mr. Againde? Sami Hichilema. Why? Think. Read your Bible. What is wrong with you, Sani?